Hi, happy Tuesday. Um, everybody may be impressed because yes, I did know what day it was. Um, it's been a long day, but it's been a good day. Got a lot done. Um, enjoyed, enjoyed cleaning out my car because it was so freaking nice out again, 65 and sunny. Beautiful. So, um, tonight I wanted to, holy crap, get my mind straight here. Got distracted with Dodo. Come here. You want to say hi? Come on. Come on. You got to go a little higher now. Go a little, a little higher. Say hello. There he is. This is Artie. Artie is my, oh, my project, my first project. He ended up um, getting a lot of allergies and having a lot of issues. So we've been working on those. Anyway, what we are talking about tonight is how to improve your life without changing your circumstances. Because I think that we all get so stuck up in, oh, well, you know, if this were different in my life, everything would be better. If, you know, if I had more money, everything would be better. <laughs> if I could find a freaking house, <laughs> everything would be better. Um, if I had a different job, everything would be better. If I live somewhere else, everything would be better. Um, it's that classic, the grass is always greener on the other side. Bullpucky. It's bullpucky. That's what it is. Because that's not true. That's just not true. And I think we all know that. We've all experienced it. We've all been like, okay, cool. If I just had this, everything would be better. And then we get it and we're like, hmm, yep. Not so much. Not really. I thought it was going to be better. <laughs> uh, so how do we change our lives without changing that circumstance? Because the circumstance really has nothing to do with it. Um, and what I have found is that, you guys, and I promise, this isn't some, like, bullpucky. It's my word of the evening, apparently. This isn't some speak positive garbage, okay? The study that I have done has been over conscious language. We've talked about it before. If you aren't familiar, scroll back. You'll, you'll see a video or two about that. Or, better yet, jump into my Facebook group, Heart Centered and Intentional Horsewomen, which um, the link is both in my bio and in the description of this video. Um, if you are watching anywhere other than Instagram, it's in the description, but it's always in my bio. And um, we talk about this kind of stuff a lot. Also, um, yeah, so check that out if you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you do know what I'm talking about conscious language wise, um, you'll understand that I've also done some study. This like conscious language is scientifically backed. It is uh, run, lines right up with neuroplasticity and brain science. Uh, so it's pretty awesome stuff. And what I've really learned is that what you focus on grows and we've heard it and it's kind of cliche and not people often are like, Oh, whatever, you know, language, blah, blah. If, if I just speak positively over, you know, just because I say I have money doesn't mean I do. Okay. Well, but what it does do is change what you focus on because what you talk about is stuff that you've been focusing on and what you're focusing on. You often talk about just saying, <laughs> so, um, for example, this is like the coolest thing I have felt, like I said, I've done a, like a a lot of people, read a lot of books, but one person that um, did an exercise, Tony Robbins, Tony Robbins does this exercise at some of his events. And obviously I heard it and I didn't go to an event. So he's done it other places too. Um, and it's pretty fan freaking fantastic because it makes it very obvious that what we focus on is what we see. So um, if you're willing to participate and you are not currently driving, feel free to look around all around you and um, tell me everything you see that's brown. Well, don't you can comment if you'd like, but just look around you and find all the brown things. Brown, brown, brown. All I want you to look for is brown. Anything brown. Okay. I'm going to wait for a second. Give you a second. Take it all in. Okay. Think you got all the brown stuff? Bet you do. Awesome. Now close your eyes and tell me everything you see or saw, everything that you saw when you had your eyes open. Close your eyes and tell me everything that you saw that was blue. Did you find anything blue? Or did you only catch all the brown stuff because that's what you were looking for? And when you did find something blue, was it something that was also maybe 
kind of greenish, but kind of bluish. But hey, you called it blue because you wanted to find it and succeed. Because that's the way your brain naturally works. That's what instinct is. So if you're going to walk around all day focused on, I don't have this. I don't have that. I'm missing this. You know, blah, blah, blah. That's all you're going to see is everything you're lacking, everything you don't have, because that's what you're focused on. That's what you're looking for. You wouldn't describe it as something you're looking for, but the long and short of it is when you're focused on it, you're looking for it. Another example. It's classic. I'm sure you've done it. You bought a car or you went and looked at a car or you're thinking about a car and it's, you know, something specific. So just off the top of my head, um, the new Chevy Blazer. Okay. I'm like, oh yeah, that's cute. I like it. Maybe I'll let me one of them. Everywhere I look, I freaking see these Chevy Blazers. You've probably done it too. You're like, you've never seen, or, or even an older car. You're like, somebody reminds you of a car you used to drive and you're like, yeah, I remember that car, blah, blah, blah. And the next thing you know, you're like, Everywhere I go, I see that car. I just see this 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 make and model everywhere I go or this color everywhere I go. It's because, because you've become aware of it. So instead of focusing on, yes, honey, you want to say hello again? Um, instead of focusing on what we don't want, you know, like if the, like the things that we wanted to change, instead of focusing on the things we want to change, we need to focus on what we have now that puts us closer to that change or um, what we have now that is replacing that change. What, what, are we, what are we doing now? You know, so for me in this house situation where house hunting we don't have, I could be totally focused on when we don't have a house and this is horrible and I could be panicking. <laughs> Instead, I choose to be grateful for this time that we have in this less than stellar place because it means that I'm living with more people than I will be when I finally get my house. And those are people that I enjoy spending time with, like my sister. <laughs> so, um, you know, you can focus on those kinds of things and take it for what it is. And that in itself will change your life because once you start looking at what you have and um, showing appreciation and gratitude for those things, you start to notice more of what you have. And you, not only do you notice it, but then you get more because you become more aware of the opportunities around you. So in essence, this simple practice of being grateful for what you have and observing the things that you do have instead of observing all of the things you're lacking, that simple practice will start a spiral which gets you all of the things that you're looking for. That's how you change your life. And that's how you change your circumstances. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> That's, that's the story. So anyways, that's all I have for you tonight. I just want to impart that on you, give you a little bit of wisdom because I've noticed it make a difference in my life. And uh, I am all about sharing the, the wealth of knowledge. So anyways, that's all for tonight. I will probably see you tomorrow. And just in case, I just totally forgot. Um, just in case you are down for it, and you're looking for more of this kind of mindset training and ways to improve your life, um, ways to be more appreciative of yourself and um, what you have, you could totally jump in to our 90-day transformation of becoming a bod your body's best friend, um, which is a lot more than what it sounds like. So if you would like more information on that, you can check the link that's either again, in my bio or in the description of this video, we'd be more than happy to take you along for the journey. We are having a blast doing it. And uh, that's, that's really all I have for you tonight. So I will talk to y'all tomorrow.